Specialist Rhett Spiros wore armor like this while in Iraq. 20 pounds of Kevlar and ceramic plates protect the torso, but nothing else. The first time I was in contact with the enemy, a uh, sergeant in our section was shot in the groin, and there were various other soldiers that were wounded in places that weren't protected by the body armor. I can't remember ever once leaving the base thinking I'm 100% safe. As reported in Scientific American magazine, University of Delaware chemical engineer Norman Wagner developed a way to make full body armor that's flexible and only slightly heavier than plain clothing. Working with U.S. Army researchers, he treated Kevlar with a special liquid that contains millions of tiny glass or ceramic particles. This liquid armor stiffens up when agitated or hit by a sudden impact. The particles jam up, forming a log jam structure that prevents things from penetrating through them. As shown in this lab video, a thin layer of Kevlar won't stop a bullet, but bullets bounce off Kevlar when it's treated with the liquid. Protection like that could make a big difference to soldiers. We can make thin uh, layers of materials for use on the arms and legs that remain flexible under normal motion, but become rigid and absorb energy when impacted by a ballistic threat or a knife. Spiros hopes not to be sent back to Iraq, but if he is, this liquid armor might be there to help him come home uninjured a second time. I'm Brad Closa.